Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner for another Windows Server 2008 R2 training video. Now, if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn even more about Windows Server 2008 R2, please check out my website, jackstechcorner.com, and click on the online classes link at the top. There you will find my Windows Server course, which is self-paced. And at the end of the course, you will earn a certificate to add to your resume. This course is also very reasonably priced. Once again, that's jackstechcorner.com. Now let's go ahead and begin with this lesson. In this lesson today, I'm going to teach you and tell you a little bit about Remote Desktop Web Access. Why do you want to use that and what is it? We all know by now that we can access our Windows servers and Windows computers with a remote desktop client. Now, that allows us as administrators to do a lot of different things on the server. What you don't want to do is you do not want to allow people to have full access to your server through a remote desktop client if you're giving them access to an application. So I found it's a lot better and more secure on your end if you use the Remote Desktop Web Access. Let's go ahead and first install this access and then we will talk a little bit about it. To install it, you'll go to your server manager and then click on Roles. Now, I like to click the little minus sign in front of roles and pull the roles down. Once we do that, you'll see here where it says remote desktop services. I'm going to pull this out a little bit here so we can see it even better. If I right click on remote desktop services, I can now click on add role services. In doing that, at the bottom here, you'll see remote desktop web access. Let's go ahead and click on this. When we do that, it's going to tell us that we have to add other required services. I don't know why they tell us this, because you're not going to load it until you load these other required services. So click on Add Required Role Services, and click on Next. At that point, we'll just click on Next. And with everything selected in here, we're going to go down through and just make sure there's nothing else that we need to select. It should have all of the default items checked that we need to have set up. Then click Next, and then Install. At this point now, it is installing our remote desktop web access. Now, as this is installing, let me talk to you a little bit about this. What we found is we're going to next have to install our application service now the application service or application server on top of our server will allow us to serve up applications through this remote desktop web access now if you use desktop if you use the remote desktop web access you do have to have your clients using internet explorer because it still uses an active x control to actually talk back to the IIS and the server itself. So you must have that ActiveX control running and you know you have to use Internet Explorer. I have found that this does not work on a Mac. You cannot get a Mac to talk back to your remote desktop web access. So that's another issue that you will have to worry about. Once we have this done, we can simply click on Close. Now, once we have our remote desktop web access services installed, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to test it to make sure it is in fact working. Now, I like to test it on the place of least resistance, which is my server. So let's go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. Once we have that opened, we are going to actually type this in here which is HTTPS because it is a secure connection. 
and we'll type our loop back address 127.0.0.1 and we'll take a forward slash and then we'll type in there rd web <clears throat> for remote desktop web access hit enter and it's going to tell you you know we don't recommend that you look at this web page because again it is an active x and you can get rid of this by changing your security settings on your internet explorer click on continue and now you have access so we can actually log into our remote desktop And if you look down at the bottom, it is telling you there is an add-on for remote desktop services. Click on Allow. And then you can actually log in here. And I believe our home network is home. Now, if this is a public shared computer, it will not store any of your credentials. If it's private, you can actually have this store this stuff. And at that point, right here, it's going to say Remote App Programs. And you see we have none populated right now. To gain access to those videos and to try to learn this stuff on your own, we're going to actually be teaching this on my online class. So this is getting you prepped and saying, boy, Jack, I'd like to learn more about that remote uh, desktop web access. And you also probably want to learn how to populate apps into this. So if you'd like to learn more about remote desktop web access, please go to my website, www.jackstechcorner.com. And again, click on the online class, and that will take you right into the class. And start at the very top, you're going to work your way down. And towards the end of the class, you're going to learn even more about remote desktop web services access. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video on Windows Server 2008 R2. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, folks, keep on your uh, Windows servers, keep administering, and keep learning. I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.